Hi, in today's tutorial we are going to detect coins in an image using uh, Python and OpenCV. We are also going to mark and count uh, these uh, coins. So what does it mean? This is our original image and this is the same image, image after we are detecting the coins and mark each other with a numerated uh, number. I will also upload uh, the code and the uh, demo images to my uh, GitHub uh, uh, OpenCV repository. So let's start. First of all, let's uh, uh, see this is our uh, coin uh, JPG. This is our image. This is our original image. And now let's start with uh, creating a new Python file. So let's call, call it coin edge detection. So first of all, we are going to uh, load uh, import, so import uh, uh, cv2, open cv python, then we are going to load our uh, image, let's change the, uh, the path correctly, and now let's show our original image. This is a very basic and straightforward process uh, using open cv. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so this is our image. Okay, let's continue for the next step. So, uh, first of all, we have to convert our image to grayscale. So, we will use the CV2 color function. And, uh, of course, we will uh, convert it from uh, BGR to gray. May I remind you that the OpenCV is a BGR image, not RGB. So we have to convert it from BGR to grayscale. Okay, let's uh, show our gray image. Very nice. So we con can continue now to the next step. Now we are going to start with the detection process. So in order to detect the coins inside the image, we have to blur it a little bit. We will use a kernel of a seven by seven. Let's show the image after the, the blur, plus, blur process, process. Okay, you can see the image are a little bit uh, blurred. Okay, next. Now we are starting to detect the, edge, uh, the edges. So let's uh, use the canny, uh, the OpenCV canny function. We will send it uh, the blur uh, image, the blurred image, and a threshold uh, between uh, 19 and 255. And now we are starting to see edges around the coins. So now, uh, basically, we are uh, ready to start uh, looking for the contours around uh, each, each of the coins. So basically, it will be a very uh, straightforward uh, process of uh, looking for external contours around each uh, coin. So let's write the, the function, uh, contours, uh, and Hierarchy is, is not relevant in this process, so basically we will examine the, the contents variables. So we will uh, use the CV2 find contours. We will send uh, as an argument a copy of our Kenny image. And another argument is the RETR external argument and chain approx uh, symbol. So next. Uh, for debug process only, let's uh, draw a contour around each of the detected areas. So we will use the draw contours and please notice that we are going to draw the contours in our original image. Okay, so we draw a green contour around each of the coins. And now let's uh, detect it, we don't need the draw contours, it was only for debug process. 
So uh, before um, finding the contours or detecting the contours and displaying it on our original image, let's uh, sort all the, the areas of the contours. And then we are going to loop inside the sorted areas and uh, draw a circle around or, or inside our uh, area, inside our contour. And then we will uh, uh, write its enumerated number so you can see that it's all sorted. So we are looking inside the sorted uh, con variable and we are extracting the coordinates the x, y, w and h and as for now let's uh, print um, the enumerated number of the finding contours and its coordinate. Okay, let's run it. As you can see area number 0 has its own con uh, coordinates, area number 1, area number 2 and etc. Okay, let's continue. So next we are going to remark uh, this printed uh, coordinates and now we would like to find the center of each of the contours. So we're looking for the center of the height and the width. And this center will be uh, the center of our circle. We are going to draw a cir circle inside or around each of the areas in our original image. So now we are going to use the CV2 circle function and we will send uh, several arguments. First of all, our image, then uh, the X on the Y, this is the center of our area, uh, the, the radius and the color, let's choose a green color and the thickness would be two. Now you can see we have a circle inside or around each of the detected areas. Now let's add a text inside each of the circle. It will help us to count and to see the sorted areas in our original image. As you can see, it's a very straightforward process of putting a text inside an image, like uh, what is the string, so what is the text, uh, the position, the, the, the font, the scale, and the color. So basically, we will have a enumerated uh, number inside our areas. Okay, let's run it. As you can see, each of the detected, detected areas has its own uh, number. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you're most welcome to subscribe for my next videos. Bye.